Hey guys, Half Dead here with another Bacchus mod tutorial. In this one, we are going to take a look at some of the customization options available to make the mod work exactly like you wanted to. Specifically, what I want to talk about are not the obvious ones. So when you open up the user interface, there are these different tabs for free play and ranked for example, and there are a lot of options right there, but usually they are self-explanatory and they have some nice text to them. So if you don't know what they do, you can just try them and usually you will figure it out sooner or later. What I want to talk about instead are options that might not be quite as obvious to the average user or maybe don't even have any documentation at all. First up on the list we got the plugins tab. With the plugins, some people might think they don't have any plugins installed, they just install Buckers mod and they don't have any extra features next to that. But the truth is that a lot of the features that the mod has are just packed into plugins, so you will have plugins installed already when you just install the mod. We've already talked about many of these plugins in episode 1 and 2, so go check that out. But with these options, you can now change, for example, with the redirect plugin, whether you want ground redirects or high redirects, and how high you want the redirect to be. There are options for the rebound plugin, the wall hit plugin, or the air dribble plugin. I'm not gonna go into details for either of those, just go check them out and just know that they are there for you to use. A plugin that we haven't talked about yet that I want to cover really quick is the Defender plugin. This is a pretty simple plugin, it's just gonna continually shoot balls at the net and you're gonna have to try and save them. There are also a couple of options here, most important one is the time which is gonna set an interval in which the ball was gonna shoot after your last hit. So by default, if you hit the ball after three to six seconds, it's gonna shoot at the net again. If you set the time a bit lower, then this is gonna force you to make good recoveries on your save too, which is completely different from a training pack where you're just gonna take one shot at a time. Another cool recent plugin is the auto replay uploader and it's just gonna do what it says you don't even have to save replays, it will automatically upload every replay either to calculated.gg or ballchasing.com and both of those are great websites. I personally like calculated.gg a lot because it actually calculates and shows you trends of your gameplay that persist over multiple replays. And if you see a certain trend in your stats that is probably a mistake, then you can look at that and try to fix it. Let's get to the most important part of this video. The keybinds. The keybind part of the user interface might be a bit confusing for some people. You might expect a list of commands that you can bind to something, like the Rocket League user interface does for bindings. However, because there are basically infinite possible options for bindings, that would get unmaintainable. So let's just go through the process of how you would create a bind for a certain setting. Under the bindings tab, there is an add button. When you press that button, it opens another window. In this window, you can both set the bind and the command that you want to call with the bind. To select the key that you want, all you have to do is left click on none. Then press either the button on the controller or the keyboard that you want to use as your binding. After selecting the key, we can double click on the list below to select a command that we want to run when the key is pressed. In this example, we are going to go with invent clear icon. If you have no new item in your inventory, but the new item icon won't go away, then using this command will fix the bug and remove the icon. If you don't have this binding, you would have to open the Bacchus mod user interface, navigate to miscellaneous and find the correct button to press. Another very useful command is called load training. It allows you to directly load a custom training pack with its code. That means we can also set up a binding for it. For example, numpad0. With that in place, you can save a lot of time if you have a couple of training packs that you play a lot. The mod can also be used to get to certain parts of custom maps. For example, in the dribbling challenge 2. Let's say I want to get to a part of the map that is basically on the other side of the map. That would take a long time. However, I can make a command that is gonna teleport me there and every time I open the map, I can teleport there instantly from now on. To create this command, I'll first open the console by pressing F6. In the console, I'm gonna use the command player. This command will show me the current player location as well as rotation. If I then call the player command with location parameters that roughly match the position that I found, I can teleport to that spot. 
If the command is working properly, I can then bind it to a key, either through the user interface as shown before, or also through the console. You probably don't want to spend your time creating macro for all the 30 levels. So what would you do if you want to get anywhere really quick? In situations like these, you can use the command svsoccergamespeed, which allows you to set the speed to either above or below normal speed. I'm gonna use this chance to also show off the toggle command. When you put toggle in front of a command, like svsoccergamespeed, you can cycle through the different options that you provide at the very end. In this case, we're gonna provide the option to go 0.5 game speed, 1, which is normal, and 5, which is 5 times the normal speed. This entire construct can then once again be bound to a key. I hope these examples have been useful, but you're probably wondering how you could figure out what all these commands do. I gotta be honest here, the current documentation of Bakasmod leaves something to be desired. On the Bakasmod Wikia page, there's a list of some of the commands with short explanations. I'm personally going to commit to providing longer and better explanations for all the commands that we feature in this tutorial series. If you happen to know how some of the commands work, it would be very appreciated if you could help out with the documentation. Lastly, I want to talk about how you can create your own quick settings and similar things. For that, we have three different methods. The first one is the alias command. The alias command allows you to create your own Bakasmod commands for the console. To create one, you just have to open the console, type alias, then the name you want for your command, and then in quotation marks, the actual stuff you want to execute when you run the command. As a matter of fact, this is how the mod does the default bindings for D-pad and 1234 on the keyboard. Both keyboard and controller have a bind for the alias, and then the alias does the actual action. If you want to run a lot of commands at once, the console is probably not the best place to type them up. Instead, you can put it in a config file, which is just a regular text file with an ending of .cfg. You can put any console commands in there that you want. Once you have done that, you can tap back into Rocket League, open the console and type exec, and then put in the file name for the config file that you've just given. When you run that command, it will run all the commands in the config file. Quick settings are very similar to that, except you will find them in a different folder with a different file ending, and in the file you have to provide a name, description, and then write begin config to run the actual commands. In order for the new quick setting to show up, you will have to use the command GUI quick settings refresh or just restart Rocket League. That's about everything I wanted to cover in this video. Don't forget, there's always the Bugs Mod Discord if you have any questions about commands that aren't documented properly. To stay up to date, follow my Twitter or join my Discord, and I'll see you soon for hopefully a very interesting video. Strangers, though.